In today's video, we're checking out the Joyo BSK60 acoustic guitar amplifier. This is a 60 watt battery or AC powered acoustic amp that has two separate channels on the top and you can run them both at the same time. So you can plug a microphone into this or an acoustic guitar and get a blend between them both. There's plenty of effects and plenty of features and I'll cover that in just a minute. A massive thank you to Artist Guitars here in Australia for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it. I've added timestamps to the video, so if you want to skip ahead back or forth, you can do that if you so choose. We're going to kick things off with a little bit of a loop station jam. That's right, this has a loop station built in. It's pretty versatile and really fun. Let's get into it. Here's the amplifier up close. So as you can see, we get two individual speakers. The horn is over here and the main speaker is over here and it really gives you a good sense of space. Down over here, we have a bass port as well and it handles the low end really well. One of my favorite things about this amplifier is you can use it in any orientation. So this is up on the side. There's a top handle over here as well. All the controls are on the top or the side, depending on how you want to run it and it's nice and easy to get to everything. I'll give you a closer look at this in just a moment. On the bottom of the amplifier, we also have a little stand here. So if you wanna angle this up at a gig, and you can use it on its side like this. So if you want it, say, pointing up towards you, if you're in a position where it's on the floor and you're sitting up quite a bit higher, you can angle it any way you like. Here's the main panel of the amplifier. So this whole top channel here is the guitar channel. We have the microphone channel down the bottom. The microphone input can accept both XLR and a standard jack connection. So depending on which microphone cable you've got, you can use both on this particular one or one at a time, but it accepts both inputs, which is pretty wild. Now this guitar channel up the top here has a three band EQ and this is extremely musical. So you can dial in a really great sound. Throughout the video, I'm just gonna leave the acoustic guitar set at 12 o'clock with all of its onboard EQ. And I'm just gonna be showcasing how the amplifier responds at different settings and it works great. We get three main effects. We get a chorus, a reverb and a delay. The reverb is one of the nicest I've heard on an acoustic amp. It can get a little bit crazy, but I really like it. And it just gives you a great sense of space. Over here, we have the anti-feedback control. You can wind this anywhere from L to H or leave it on auto. This really helps eliminate those feedback frequencies, especially if you're up loud and in close proximity to the amplifier. This is just inherent of any PA system or amplifier like this. If you're really close with an acoustic guitar, it can sometimes cause some issues at louder volumes, but the auto setting seems to work really well. So I would just suggest leaving it there if you have any problems. The Joyo BSK60 also has a phase button over here, and this can also be accessed via the provided foot switch. So if you need to reverse the phase of the acoustic, you can do that just by hitting this button. On the microphone channel, we have a dedicated volume control, which doesn't affect the guitar channel in any way. We have a bass and treble control, so a two band EQ as opposed to the three for the acoustic, and its own designated reverb. 
If you plan on using the looper, this will light up red. I recommend using this, of course, with the provided foot switch, and I'll give you a rundown of that in just a moment. We can also enable Bluetooth, so if you want to jam along to a backing track on your phone or any other device that accepts Bluetooth, you can have that play through here and then jam along with it. That's pretty wild if you're going to be doing backing track live performances. Over here we have a link option as well. You can turn this on or off. And this is a TRRS connector. And from what I can determine from the instruction manual, this is designed for certain programs on phones that also support that type of connector. So there is an auxiliary in on the back. So if you just want to go out of your phone or audio device into the amp, you can do that on the back. We also get a master volume control to control the overall volume of the amp and a mute button over here. This is pretty cool. On the back of the amp, we get more inputs and outputs. So the DC 24 volt input is from the power supply. It also charges the internal battery, which is fantastic. So this does work without a power supply if the battery is charged. We also have a nine volt output. So this is awesome if you run pedals or effects, you can run a line out of this into your effects pedal board or whatever it is that you're running into it. We get an auxiliary in over here, which allows you to plug in a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable, or TRRS cable. So if you're going from an audio device into this and you want the music to play through and you don't have Bluetooth, you can use that auxiliary in. We get a foot switch input over here. We get our phones if you want to listen with headphones. The line in accepts these kind of connectors. So if you want to use that to go from another device or something else into the amplifier, you can use that line in. We also get a line out, which is the same type of connector as the line in. So you can run this to a sound card or a PA system or a separate recorder if you so choose. And we get the balanced output, which is what I'll be using throughout this video, as well as having this mic'd up in the room. Here's the provided foot switch. I'm glad Joyo have included this. We get a looper function over here and I'll showcase how to do this in the video as well. We get our phase inverter and the AF back scan, which is the anti-feedback scan option. So once it scans, it finds the frequency and hopefully removes it. And we get that global mute switch, the same thing that I showed you on the amplifier, except it's foot switchable, which is awesome. Over here, these parameters actually bypass wherever the amplifier is set. So if you want to just use this foot switch to set how much reverb you want on the guitar channel, how much delay and chorus, you can do that via this, or you can just simply turn them off. Over here, we have a dedicated reverb for the microphone or vocal input. How cool is that? So it allows you to basically control the amplifier without having to go over and physically control it. So you can set it up, dial in a little bit less or more reverb on the fly just by using this. When it comes to the build quality, this is built extremely well. This is metal, it's not plastic or anything like that. Joyo have really done a great job when it comes to the overall design of both of these units. As it stands right now, this is the best built Joyo amplifier I've ever seen come through on the channel. Without question, the wooden finish looks great. It also feels really good. We get a nice big leather handle. We get two really great carry handles on the top. Being that we get all the functionality I've already spoken about, I'd say this is one of the best things around for acoustic players. And I love the fact too, it has these holes on the side. So if you want to mount it onto a speaker stand, you can do that as well. All right, let's kick it off in today's video. I'm playing this Artist Guitars Acoustic. This is on loan from them, and it's loaded with a really great sounding Fishman pickup system. And we're going into this top channel over here with all of the effects off. I'm gonna show you firstly how it sounds going out of the XLR out into my sound car. And then you're gonna hear a little bit of the room sound thanks to this Rode NT2A large diaphragm condenser microphone. So I'll play the same thing twice so you can get a sense of what's going on in the room and also how it would sound going into a recording console, PA system, sound card, whatever the case may be. Here we go. And now over to the room mic. It already sounds good, but what I'm gonna do now is turn up the reverb. It's a beautiful sounding reverb, really sets the mood nicely, and we can crank up the bass. I'm gonna bring out the mids a little bit, turn up the treble just to hear, here we go. Now 
Now, if you want, you can also add a little bit of delay thanks to this control over here. These are all operational via the foot switch as well, which I've currently got disconnected so you can get a good overview of what the amp can do. Have a listen to this. Just a beautiful sounding delay mixed with that really big ambient reverb, it sounds pretty cool. Now one of the other effects we've got on here is chorus as well. So what I'm going to do is just turn the delay off, we'll leave the reverb on, just turn the chorus up a little bit so you can get a sense of what this sounds like. You can also tap tempo this. Let's bring the delay back. Now, if you want to sound like you too, you can crank it all up. <laughs> but basically, you've got three really usable effects and you can get a mix between them all. Let's take a look at the three band EQ system. I'm going to start with everything at 12 o'clock and what you're about to hear is the XLR out of the amplifier going into the sound card. Then I'll show you the room microphone because when you're in the room listening to this, it makes a huge difference. Here we go. Just cranked up the bass and turned down the treble. All right, so what I'll do, I'll put everything back at 12 o'clock so you can hear the room sound. So this will be the microphone in front of the amp. Same thing again, let's crank the bass up, back off the mids a little bit more treble. Sounds great. A little bit more bass, a little bit more mids. Let's back that treble off. So it's a nice, big, round, warm sound, or you can dial it in however you like. If you don't like that much bass, dial it out. It's pretty cool. One of the cool features on this amplifier is the anti-feedback control. I like leaving this set to auto. It kind of automatically finds the frequency that's causing you problems and pulls it out. Now to get this onto the automatic setting, this pot has to be all the way to the right. You can also scan for frequencies here as well or use this anywhere in between L and H. So it's up to you how you want to use it. I've cranked up the amp just to show you how it feeds back, obviously very easily because it's an acoustic guitar being amplified with this acoustic amplifier here. So let's give this a shot. I'm just gonna crank this up. Now it's already eliminating the feedback. I can hear it's sort of borderline. I just hit the scan control or button and now it's gone. This is pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do is turn it off on the amplifier. And there it goes. So it feeds back really easy if, if you have your volume on the guitar too loud or if you're in too close of a proximity. So that control works really well. Up next, I want to show you how the looper function works. This is one of my favorite things about the Joyo amplifiers. Now over here, we have a looper button. All we have to do is hit it once to start recording. The light will be red. Hit it again, it will go blue and that's playback mode. So you can noodle around over it. If you want to add more layers, you can simply hit it again and keep doing that. Now, if you make a mistake, you can take off the last layer just by holding down the button. It kind of wipes the last sort of overdub. So let's give this a shot. Thank you. 
there you go. I just hit the mute button at the end there just to kill it dry like that. It's a really good way to, um, to kill it dead or whatever the case may be, just to basically mute the signal without anything coming back through the amp. So this is a really cool feature. I love the looper. I could just use that all day on an electric or an acoustic guitar. It's one of my favorite things about this amp. Up next, I want to try a microphone going into this channel over here. So as you can see, we've got the volume crank, the bass and treble set at one and 11 o'clock with a little bit of reverb. And the great thing about this input over here is it does accept also a jack input mic connection, but I've got an XLR, so that's what we're using. Everything is muted thanks to the foot switch. So this isn't currently active until I hit this button right here. So now you're listening to the amp. Here we go. <laughs> I really like being able to mix my vocal at the volume that I want it at, being that I'm not a strong singer, with the guitar and then adjust the reverb, delay and all that kind of stuff independently on each channel. Those pops that you're hearing is the microphone. I really should have had a windsock on there, but I can't find one. So that's what we get. We get plosives, <laughs> nothing to do with the amp. Thanks for watching folks. My name's Shane. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the Joyo BSK60 amplifier. So from a functionality standpoint, there's a lot to love about this. This could be your only amplifier at a gig if you're a guitar player and a singer, or if you just wanna address the audience from time to time with a microphone, you can definitely do that with this. I would like a little bit more gain out of the microphone input and a phantom power switch on there ideally, but it's not a deal breaker. If you've got any good dynamic microphone, you can definitely get a lot out of this. The acoustic guitar channel sounds fantastic. Three band EQ is awesome. The reverb sounds great. The delay is kind of full on, but it's great as well. You can just dial in a little bit and get a really good sound. And the chorus effect, if you like chorus, you can also dial that in. Now, I love the fact the orientation of the amplifier can either remain flat on the floor like I've got it right now, or you can flip it up on the side. It also has a mounting point for a speaker stand, so you can just clunk it on top of a speaker stand and you're good to go. So if you're a solo performer, you can just address the audience using the microphone, play some guitar or sing and play guitar, whatever you choose to do or whatever sort of act you have. This would definitely be loud enough. And in addition to that, I love the fact this has the built-in battery as well. So if there's no power anywhere and you've got it fully charged, you could probably get away with doing a gig without actually having to plug it in. Now, I don't know what the runtime is like on the battery. I haven't tested that, but I've got one of the other amps and it lasts for hours. So hopefully this is in the same boat. Just check out the instruction manual and I'll link to everything down in the description below. But this is a really cool amplifier if you're an acoustic player and clearly I'm not an acoustic player, but it's been, it's been many years since I played an acoustic guitar, then you can definitely get a whole lot out of this and it's just a really fun amp. So if you're a little bit bored with just playing acoustically and you want some nice effects, this would definitely do the job. Now, when you're talking about its competition, you've got other amps that do similar things like AER and there's a few other brands, but they're so much more expensive. The tones out of this thing are beautiful. It's nice and clean, nice and clear. You can have it up at any volume and get good sounds. The reverb again is awesome. If you wanna just mess around and use the looper, the looper is too much fun. So yeah, not a lot of criticisms about this, except it does weight quite a bit and I'll put the weight on screen here, but definitely not a deal breaker when you're talking about foldbacks. This could be used in a number of different situations. Even as a foldback with a band, if you angle it up, it's pretty cool. It's even got some stands on the bottom of it as well. So yeah, they thought of everything with this. The separate tweeter from the actual woofer speaker. So you get a really nice, pleasant sound out of this thing. Let us know what you think. And it looks cool too. It looks like an old subwoofer. I dig it. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. If you want to check this out, I'll link it below. See you soon. See ya.